how do we manage an honest broadcast versus looking like a two-hour infomercial where we can be somewhat objective? We know we're slanted to the home team, but where our play-by-play -play can be honest, our analysts can be honest and be analytical and critical as they are paid to do. So I'm, you're kind of new to the business, but you have a really good owner. So kind of give us your perspective first. Um, I think, you know, one of the North Stars for my owner is just integrity. That's really important to him. Um, and so that translates to our on-air talent is having integrity. Um, so our expectation is that they are going to use data to explain what's happening, good and bad, and just call where the ball lies um, and not you know, go on to their own personal commentary. It's just like, let's call the game. The fans are really smart. They know if you're playing well or if you're not and use the data to tell that story. So um, that's really how they've been managing themselves and they've been with the organization for a very long time. Flip, you have a real command of talent. It's going to kind of give us your perspective. You have a really tough ownership and a really tough president. Give us your perspective. Uh, I agree with Friday. Uh, it's about integrity. It's about being able to tell the truth and, and not really, you know, not shade it. It's, again, it's, you, could, you could say anything you want to say. I really believe that, and we have. We've said plenty of things. When the Yankees were beaten by the, in the, by the Astros in the, in the playoffs two, two, two seasons ago in Boston four straight, we annihilated the team. We annihilated them. There was nothing good to say. We had nothing good to say because they didn't play well. And, uh, you know, I heard about it. I heard about it a little bit. But at the end of the day, it was our job is to be honest and, and to be critical because that's really what the team deserves the criticism. When you know when it, when, the, when the team plays well, they deserve the bouquets, and when they don't play well, they deserve to be called out for not playing well. We don't. We've never hedged that. We don't hedge it. But the reality, the situation is how far do you go with it? That's really the question: is how far do you go when you have a critical point to make? You can't sit there and, and for nine innings and they crucify a team. You can't do it. I mean, there's no the view is going to get turned off. The ownership gets everybody gets turned off. You, but you need to say what you need to say because you need credibility. You have to be able to tell stories. You have to be able to tell the truth. The truth is really important. And anything that gets in the way of the truth puts your credibility at stake. It puts this business's credibility at stake, and you cannot have that. If you find yourself in a situation like that, you have to address it immediately, quickly, and be done with it because you cannot have your integrity put into question. You can't. It can't be. John, you're kind of like me. You're a middleman. Well, the, the key for us, Mike, is knowing your audience. And one of the things that we cannot do is insult the intelligence of our audience. And when the audience knows their sport, they know their teams, they know the news around them, if something happens, you can't run from it. You have, to, you have to confront it and handle it professionally. Clearly, you can never be in the business of burying your team partner, but news is news, and sticky situations exist. You have to deal with them. If you remember, keep in mind who you're speaking to. Know your audience. Treat them with the intelligence they deserve. Give them the information that you think they want. I think that's always the straightest and simplest way to play it. Howard? As a network and ownership groups, you have to know your city you have to know your audience and in boston accountability is the biggest word you know people players can make mistakes but you have to be accountable and throughout the red sox and bruins lock uh, clubhouse locker room there's accountability play by play the you know the who the what the wow uh analysts the why and the how we have a history at nesson with jerry remy the late jerry remy with dennis eckersley with andy brickley you know uh they tell you the why and the how um, we had a, you know, we had a really bad loss, the Bruins, in Game 7 against Florida. And if you watched our uh, game uh, at the end of it, uh, how, they, how they went off the air, if you watch our post game, it really reflected the fan base and it, probably, and, and it reflected the, 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 the dressing room. Uh, you have to learn how to critique. So, you know, Jerry Ram would always critique the play and always, and, you know, are you going to, when you go into the clubhouse, uh, the player will come up to you and say, that was the right thing to do. I understand that. You know, I understand what you had to do there because credibility with the fan base is all these, uh, as my colleague said, is the most important. And I think that if you get the understanding from the team about that, then there is some separation of church and state. Thank you.